And from here, we're gonna come right down onto our left side. So laying down onto your side, you could rest your head on your arm or pull in your cushion here. Okay, make sure if your head is propped up on a pillow or a cushion, make sure that the neck is still in a neutral position and not kind of cranked up like so. I've been trying to be more aware of that in my own body too, of um, being here on our side, and especially because we all are on screens, um, try not to, or, or just notice maybe if your head's in a wanky position. <laughs> Alrighty. And we're gonna come through our TFL release, tensor fascia lata. So that muscle uh, right here on the top of the outer hip and all the way down the IT band, iliotibial band. Ooh, that can feel nice. Let's just rub up and down there. I'm noticing I've got some tender spots. So you can give yourself a little massage here for a moment. Sort of if you were to follow your pant crease, the side crease, down from the hip to the knee, and you're, you are probably, I'm going to guess, feeling some spots there yourself. There's a lot of trigger points here that we don't want to dig into, but we can just give them a little bit of love, a little bit of massage to start to release um, the tension that's just inevitable from being a human uh, that gets into the connective tissue here. Kind of tap that out up and down. Okay, so let's extend that top leg out. We're going to start in our parallel position, your hip height, and there's that moment to firm up the muscles on the leg. So just like you're hugging the muscles into the bone, toes are pointing forward. We slide or glide the leg in front of us, pause for a heartbeat, and then slowly lower the foot, release the knee, and just let everything flop. You can even let the upper body kind of go a little bit. Okay, and then again, we extend that leg out. Again, we just gently hug the muscles into the bones, so we start to create a little bit of that tension load. And as the leg is gliding forward, where do you notice any sensation in those muscles? And it's easier to find in some positions here than others, so just kind of notice for yourself as you release. Okay, let's do that one more time. So extending out. Hugging the muscles in, slowly bring the leg forward. Find a new angle to reach it to, higher or lower, it doesn't matter. And then release. Good. All right, variation number two is external rotation. So now, leg extended out, we turn into our ballerina turnout. And again, we're gently hugging the muscles into the bone. So now where are you feeling that muscle load in your body, that tension? And then we slowly glide the leg forward. Think about the inner heel leading the way. Breathing. And then slowly lower the leg and release everything. Make sure that knee unlocks. Ah, no effort. So we're gonna do that twice more working through that external rotation. Again, you can change the angle that you bring the leg to, and that's gonna give you more information, more feedback into the muscles to help release the tension that might be there and reset the muscles back to what's called their resting muscle length, which is where we want them to be. <laughs> All right, well, one more with your oh, external rotation. That's a good one for my body. Ah. And then we relax completely.
Okay, third variation is internal rotation. So we extend out, internally rotate from the hips so you're pigeon toed. Start to glide that leg forward. And then lower and release. <sighs> okay, going through that twice more. So even though that you now know the movement, try not to rush through it. Sometimes I have to consciously make myself slow down a little bit more. Good. Take a moment in that pause once you release that effort. And one more. Leg turned in again, kind of hug the muscles into the bones. And as you glide that leg forward, where might you be feeling sensation? And then when you relax, feel the release of that sensation through that area. Take a big breath here. Ah. And then come back to center and just sort of rock your body forward and back. Ah. All right. Take your time as you come to the other side. All right, so we're going to flow again through our TFL release on this side. Let's add that little massage here. Ah down the side of the leg. It always feels so good. So you can do little massages. You can do um, some tapping, some body tapping up and down from the hip down the side of the leg. Just bringing awareness to, again, sort of shining a light on this area that we are going to Play through. All right, now extend that top leg all the way out. So we're starting parallel, toes are forward, your foot is flexed, we're hugging the muscles into the bone. And then we glide it forward. Slowly release and relax everything. Okay, so we're gonna do three of each. So we do two more here in a parallel position. So now you know what the movement is. If you like, you can go through this movement exploration with your eyes open or closed, or some variation of both. So when we close the eyes, it helps us to work from this um, inner sense of awareness something that's called interoception. So you've heard me talk about proprioception, kind of knowing where we are in the space around us. And interoception is the same idea, just from the inside out. All right, so taking that into external rotation next, so turning the leg out. Again, notice where you feel uh, the muscles contracting, and then when you feel the muscles releasing. Breathing naturally. We'll do two more external rotation. And this is by far my personal favorite series to do when my hips um, and my SI joints start going a little bit AWOL on me. Um, when things start locking up, which they've done to me a few times on some hikes that I've been on up in the mountains, um, I will lay down in the middle of the trail <laughs> and do this series, I kid you not. And it's, it does help. So if you've got some, some wonky hips, give this one a go. All right, we're going to take that into 
third variation, so internal rotation. Turning in from the upper thigh, the outer heel glides forward and lower. Good. This past year has really done a number on all of our bodies. We're all moving differently than we were in 2019. I think it's safe to say we're all probably moving a little bit less <laughs> than we were just because we're not out and about and running errands and all the stuff that we would do in our everyday life. Even though we're getting back into that, do one more here internal rotation. Um, I was thinking about that the other day, just like, why am I having more hip issues <laughs> than I have in past years? And I think it's just that, you know, we're not in and out of our cars all day long or whatever it is that we might be doing. Um, so we're, we are moving our bodies probably less and, and very much so in different ways than we were used to. So it would not be at all surprising that things are working differently. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. Thank goodness for yoga. Have a little wiggle forward and back there. Let's roll onto our backs. Stretching everything out for a moment. Arms by your sides. Legs just flopping open here, relaxed from the hips. And just take a moment to feel the length of your body on the ground. Let's take another nice big breath here, letting everything go. 